today's video we're going to unbox this disc brake caliper tool set. This is used with vehicles on vehicles that have four-way disc brakes. On the rear of the vehicle there is a piston. The caliper piston has to be rewound. And this is the tool to do it. Uh, I bought this in November of 2022 in Canada and it cost me $57.99. Basically $58 plus taxes. I will also put a link below this video to a tool that you can put, it's much cheaper than this, and you can put it on the end of a socket wrench with an extension. And you can drive the piston back using that tool. A little more difficult than this one, but it's effective. Let's see what we got in this. This is a pretty decent uh, little kit by the looks of it for the price. So basically what we have here is all the adapters for the many different types or sizes I should say of caliper pistons for many varied vehicles. And this is the pressure screw assembly and backing plate. So this is what we'll be using for pretty much uh, any vehicle. Anyway, we uh, should probably go put this thing into use. Caliper slide pins are here. I just removed the bolts. I already uh, tried lubricating those slide pins, so I know that's not the issue as far as this caliper goes. Anyway, we'll get this out here and Use that retractor. First thing we have to do to retract the piston is we have to find the adapter which fits the piston. They are alphabetically marked on this kit. F is there. This is a G. I'm just doing this as an example. So you can see the G adapter is not nearly big enough. All right, that's not fitting. I cheated ahead of time and checked it. F adapter does fit like that. Now we see there's two holes here for the pressure screw. So here's our pressure screw we discussed before and we're going to line them up. But first we have to put our backing plate over this. Okay, see if I can get this all laid out here. Oh, I might have to retract that a little bit. Or actually, hope you can see this. Might have pushed that piston out too much. Uh, let's shorten that up there. Oops. See, I'm turning down that here and in the place. Line up our protrusions if you will now here okay so we got it in place see that got our backing plate here up against the caliper i'm going to hand tighten this all right so i'm turning this counterclockwise to tighten it up now you need a seven eighths or 22 millimeter wrench and I'm gonna try to position myself here I'm gonna look at that camera can you see that well I just realized one of the downsides of doing this on a uh, caliper that is sticking and being replaced as opposed to if I was just doing this on a properly operating caliper 
to just change the brake pads. But anyway, I've geared this up. I got the caliper so it's not moving and we could still illustrate this. You have my wrench here. I got a little subtle persuasion. Normally it wouldn't need this kind of leverage, but in this case we do. So you can see the piston rotating and being driven back into the caliber. That's basically the idea. I'll just finish this off, get my YouTube editor person to fast forward this just so you can see the end result.